Yo, how's it going guys? Welcome to episode 113 of the Iron Man series and please enjoy today's episode. So I just finished stocking up on some super combats. I haven't stocked up in many months so 400 should again last me a long long time. Go oh my god, what the 49 blowpipe spec baby. People really didn't believe me when I spec this high with my blowpipe uh, with Artie darts. But yeah, it works. You have the max style damage with like rigor, it will happen. <laughs> so it is possible to trap shamans like this, just like you would the normal ones, but yeah, I wouldn't even count on trying to set this up, but sometimes it can happen. So you can just sit back and relax. Oh, we get it. We got the kill. All right, that's five solo race today and some diamonds and whatnot. Oh my god, dude, the Twisted Bow is so freaking crazy here. You saw that 95? Yeah, there's no way the Blowpipe can hit that, you know? Another one, 70, holy shit. The power of the Twisted Bow. It shall be mine one day. I have made great progress on my flags. I will show you now. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this. I started with a hundred and six thousand I remember it pretty vividly and at this time around it is now under ten thousand and that's around two hours left so I've pretty much exhausted all my uh, available crafting supplies without me having to gather stuff uh, maybe I'll make some jewelry but I mainly will probably go ahead and charge these orbs because I think the next logical step is to finish these battle staves. So that's gonna give me a good amount of XP. So two more to go and then I can boost for the torture, of course. Now I still don't have the Zenit yet, but yes, we're gonna get that eventually. Hopefully soon by the time I get 93 crafting. Oh great, we already have PK. Alright, nice. Got 77 hunter. So I'm picking up the Armadale grind pace right now. A little bit demotivating because you know Chin Champas and stuff. They do take some time and yeah the PKers are always something that's a chore to have to encounter but uh yeah we're back. Uh this guy. Look at PK. Can't really tell. Come on, what is going on man? What's this guy doing? Okay, that was really weird. This guy literally hopped in and just MSB the crap out of the other guy and that was it and then he just left or she just left oh my god it's them again bro <laughs> okay guys we are uh, gonna just not do black chits anymore what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna go and hunt red chins so I am aware of you know obviously the stat difference between the black and the reds and the black one is quite a bit better. There's already been calculations done and yeah, it is significantly better. Worthwhile to use, but the problem is catching is not really worth it to me because of all the extra time that I have to spend running away from PKers and all that stuff. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to do Armadale fine with red chins. Obviously, kill's gonna be a little slower, but because I have rigor, it should suffice and I can always catch red chins, then there will never be any interruption. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give red chins a try at Armado. Since I have the Western Province Hard Diaries done, I have access to this like private uh, chin place, which is in the same area where you normally catch the chins. And uh, there are so many red chins here. And of course, it's bot free because of the requirements. So this should be quite uh, chill, and we should be getting a lot of chins in no time. So I've been catching the red chins for almost an hour now. The rates are pretty good, similar to the black chins actually, even though I only have four traps. So it's around uh, a little bit over 90k an hour. If I guess I put in more effort, you can do easily 100k, pretty sustainable, but I am pretty excited to get 80 though, because then I can do five traps even here. In the wilderness, I was able to do one more, but yeah, same XP rates almost, so it's not too bad. And I'm also uh, now using the Swamp Tar uh, method. This just helps me place traps faster. So for the interest of time, I really want to, you know, just 
get these chins done quickly. Oh yeah, baby. Here we go. 78 Hunter. Alright, that is nice. We got 169k. So a little bit under 2 hours. 279. So I guess uh, I'll have the 80 milestone in about, I say, 3 hours and a little more. So that's pretty good. Gonna be ready to go to armor suit with this much chins. Oh, nice. That's a PR right there, dude. I think that's a little bit over a minute PR right there. It's really nice. Oh, <gasps> yes! Oh my god. I knew it, bro. It's just smart to do, freaking do race with WAV. Oh, man. This is great. <laughs> Goodness, man. I love raiding on my Iron Man. I just can make money. I get drops. Like, everything, dude. Look at the cash stack, man. Almost enough to uh, recover my loss from this uh, Elijah crashing, but you know, we're good. I'll take it, man. How many chins do I have now? Nice, nice. A thousand red chins and about 300 blacks. So I think I'm gonna get 1,000 more chins and then head over to Armadillo. Should be able to go on a massive killing streak with 2,000. Oh, yes! The legendary trap. Beautiful. I set it up once again. Both of these guys are trapped, so yeah, we just chill now. Okay, let's see what KC of uh, demonic gorillas I got here. Wow, you serious? I'm one off of 1400. That's crazy. Okay, so I was right. So I'm just gonna go and kill the demonic gorillas periodically for my last Zen. I'm not even gonna bother and get a task because I've been trying and yeah, I just can't get it. So it's a lot easier just to go grind it out. And I really want this torture soon. So hopefully you get it soon. 250 max points. <gasps> oh my god! What? <laughs> oh man! You got to be shitting me! I got a monkey's tail! What in the world, man? I'm pretty sure I complete a, a heavy ballista with that, dude. Well, still no sign of the Zene shard, but okay. I'll, I'll take that man, dude. I'm pretty pumped about that Yo, I'm gonna go make this ballista right after this Okay, so I have this monkey's tail here and the heavy frame the spring and I think the limbs right four items to make this ballista So let's see if this works. The frame must be first combined with a pair of limbs. Okay, here we go So I used the frame on the limbs Nice nice. Okay. What about this? Oh, sweet. And then just string it, right? As a such. Huh. Yo, that's pretty cool, man. Got a heavy ballista. Wow. Jesus, man. That's insane. 125 accuracy, huh? It is a slow weapon, but it hits really hard. Um, I gotta use this at least for a little bit, you know, just to see what it's like. I mean, for certain, the PVM situations are probably going to be uh, somewhat limited, but that is nice to just have completed on here, man. I'll say for sure. So I know what I can do with this ballista. I'm probably going to bring this to Gorillas along with my blowpipe, just for the hell of it. So I guess before the blowpipe does 50 damage total, on the final hit before it switches prayer, I'm just going to switch to this ballista and just like hit them super hard with the javelin so i got a shit ton of pretty powerful javelins to make so 3000 dragon javelins 2500 rune javelins so that should be really interesting so it's kind of crazy to see that i'm actually 89 fletching but i think i want to go ahead and get myself 92 fletching so i can make those dragon javelins and i'll basically just be training fletching when i need to afk so i'll be stringing and cutting magic logs and making magic longbows i do have like eighty thousand bow strings in my bank so no reason not to so it'll be a nice way to afk i'll get to 92 fast and uh, how i managed to get so high a lot of it had to do with these maple longbows and stuff so i'm gonna actually sell it because it's just in my bank so i might as well just get rid of it and get some quick cash I remember this general store sells everything and treats it as high out value at least for the first sale but yeah it's still gonna be better than selling it in a lot of other stores so and a little bit later I sold all of the <laughs> maple hong bowls not bad you know it's uh, one of my quickest mills 
Yo, this is crazy. Look at the XP per hour for uh, making the rune javelins. Almost 500k an hour. 480k it floats, but yeah, I just finished making 2500 rune javelins so fast. So, obviously not realistic, but that was quite thrilling to see. So, I got 3000 plus rune javelins to pair around with. Damn. I've been slacking on this kingdom, man. Honestly, I'm gonna fork in 3 mil. Alright. Let's go. That should last a while. Collect resources. Yeah, pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna try out the red chins. I also modified uh, the setup slightly to include the uh, suffering with recoils activated and uh, the cold I want. So let's just see if we can do well. Yeah, it's not bad. First kill though, so can't really base it off of that, but I did manage to get it down pretty low too. Nice, nice. Now I can barrage these guys. Looks pretty good actually. <laughs> okay, that's my first time trying to barrage them, but it's gonna require a bit of practice, but yeah, can work out really good once I got the rhythm down. Man, the barrage just helps so much if you think about it. I can just worry about tanking the major. Super easy to do. Alright, that was the first uh, trip with the red shins. And uh, it's pretty good. I got 9 kills this trip. So that's pretty good. <laughs> So I can only improve from here with this method. I'm actually gonna slightly change the setup though. I will probably bring my ancestral top because it's not reliable yet. Like the freezes aren't catching as often and the heals aren't catching as often. So I think having the top would make this uh, setup even better, a lot, lot better. So I just finished three whole trips with this uh, experimental setup. We got the ring of recoils, the ring of suffering effects. With the cold eye wand and the ancient magics, I utilize between either the ice or the blood spells, depending. And uh, yeah, so far, I've been getting no less than 7 kills a trip. And of course, I'm not that good at it yet. So I honestly think some point down the line, I can definitely uh, get reliable 10 plus kills a trip. Even with the red chins, mind you. So... I noticed the kills are quite a bit slower though with the red shins and again I'm not on task so yeah that probably is <laughs> the biggest reason why is because I'm not on task that 15% extra damage is a big deal. I will be wrapping up today's video here guys thank you guys so much for watching and as usual I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode so I'm pretty low key about other social medias but anyways I do have other social medias that pertain to like runescape. So I have a Twitter for basically all the RuneScape stuff and that is under the description. So if you want to follow that uh, for, I guess, like the latest updates for anything before even a video happens, then you can check out the updates on Twitter. And also I do stream on Twitch as well. So I have a Twitch link down there. If you just want to watch me on Twitch, then just follow the Twitch channel. That way you know exactly when I do go live. I also notify people on Twitter as well. But aside from that, I hope to see you guys soon with another video in a few days. Take care and bye bye.